This is a backyard colony that one of our neighbors feeds. We spayed and neutered all the feral cats and provide her with food. And she lets us know when any new cats might show up. Here's a new mom that brought her kittens over to feed. In our last socialization video, we talked about how kittens that are over 10 weeks of age can be extremely difficult to socialize. The ideal window for socialization is between four and six weeks, or even up to eight weeks. After that, it's often recommended that you simply trap, neuter, and return the kittens if you don't have the ability to socialize them. As these kittens are clearly over eight weeks old, we have a tough decision to make. Do we have the time, space, and resources to try to socialize them? So here's the planning checklist. We have the cats on a feeding routine, thanks to my neighbor. We have access to traps. We have upcoming ASPCA spay-neuter appointments. We have holding space and the ability to foster and try to socialize the kittens. So we decided to go for it. And remember, we need to get the cats fixed anyway, so we can go ahead and focus on trapping them and make a decision about socialization later. This is called a drop trap. It's a little trickier to operate than a regular trap, so make sure that you have training before you use it. We're going to feed the cats from under the trap for a few days before it's actually set. Notice mom is still looking around, and one kitten isn't completely underneath the trap. I need to make sure everyone is completely inside and focused on the food before I pull it. I cover the trap with a sheet as soon as possible. Then it's time to load mom and kittens into different traps for transport. Next up, everyone goes to the ASPCA, and we'll see who's friendly after they're spayed and neutered. You can tell this little guy clearly misses his mom and siblings, but I need to see if he's food motivated. That will give me an early signal as to how easy he might be to socialize. Here we're just using regular plain chicken baby food. You may think your bathroom is small, but it's a perfect size space for these guys. And it's much, much better than a shelter cage. In fact, cats actually prefer small spaces because it's easier for them to get comfortable quickly. Since the mom is feral, she was spayed, vaccinated, and returned to her outdoor home after a 48 hour holding period. A lot of people may think she would prefer to be with her kittens, but that's just not true. See the link in our description for more information. One of our first goals for socialization is to get the kittens comfortable eating next to us. You can do that by slowly pulling the food bowl closer and closer towards you. And meal times are when you'll make the most progress because they're hungry and they're willing to cooperate.
We made a ton of progress in the first week, just by spending one to two hours a day with them during meals. So I knew with the right foster, they could eventually be fully socialized and ready for loving homes. Once the crew was ready, we placed them with a foster volunteer so they could get even more quality time. Thank you. 